don't know, you probably not heard it, but there was a recent article talking about Coach Calipari kind of being fake cool, is I believe the words they're afraid of saying. Mm-hmm. Do you think Coach Calipari's cool? Yeah, I think he is. I think he's a really genuine guy. That's one of the things I really liked on my visit. Uh, I think he's, people think uh, he kind of puts on a show for TV and stuff like that. And I used to think that too uh, a couple of years ago. And then I met him, I'm like, this dude is really, he's really genuine. And he doesn't, he doesn't BS around or anything. He tells you how it is. And I mean, he's really, he's a cool dude. He's just cool to talk to. Uh, I haven't talked to Brad a whole lot. I talked to him on Twitter a couple times. I met him on my visit because we, we ate at the Calipari's house. So, um, you know, talked to him a couple times. But, uh, you know, it's going to be fun to bring him in. You know, the more the merrier. So, it would be, be a cool class. How would you describe your, your relationship with Cal? Um, I, I think Coach Cal, I mean, he's been one of the great, best coaches to talk to like, through the whole recruiting process. He was probably the, my, one of my favorites. If, yeah, he was my favorite <laughs> coach to talk to. You know, he's really genuine, like I said, and uh, he, he really kept it. Uh, he kept it 100 all over the, across the board, and he, you know, he never tried to fake or anything like that. So I appreciated that from Coach Cal. Uh, we talk every now and then. We talk after the couple after the loss, and you know, um, when he was in the Hall of Fame and everything like that. So we, we keep it. We talk a lot. What does he do to, to connect with you guys, like, I guess, in the very beginning of the recruiting process? Um, well, when he brought us on campus, you know, he really, uh, he, I think a lot of coaches, they try to uh, kind of be fake with you and promise you a lot of stuff and say, uh, well, I promise you, you come here, you get this much playing time, or we'll draw up plays for you here, da da da. But he comes, he's like, you can come, come in and fight for everything you have to get, and you have to earn everything. So I really, I really like that. That was the biggest thing, the biggest draw to me. Other than he, you know, he's obviously a really welcoming personality, you know, he's really funny, but uh, he was really honest. That's the biggest thing for me. Bam says he's pretty much stayed in contact with you guys mm-hmm. throughout the, even after you, you signed and mm-hmm. committed. What, how often do you hear from him? Oh, uh, yeah, he's definitely been in contact a lot. Uh, you know, we talked to, I talked to him, KP, and Coach Robic, you know, and Joel Justice, like, in, multiple times, like, a week. So, uh, you know, he's been in contact a lot, and it's been good to, you know, kind of build that relationship. What, uh, do you get the sense that he's excited to coach this group? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, he's really excitable, so, you know, he's kind of lively and everything. He, I think he's really excited for us, us to come in. What, um... I guess what are the expectations? You know, he said at the beginning of the season that this could be his best class ever, even mm-hmm. before he knew who was going to be in it. What, mm-hmm. what do you think about that, and what are those expectations for him? I mean, it's great to be a part of the class, and, you know, we're each a piece of the puzzle, and we're all going to come in and give up, give what we have. And I know the expectations are always going to be through the roof of Kentucky, and that's one of the things we all like about it, that uh, people expect the best from you. And uh, when you don't give it, they're, they're going to be tough, but, I mean, everybody's still going to love you and everything. But, I mean, we're going to come in, and we've, we've already talked about our goals in the National Championship. We want to get to the Final Four. We already know it's like Phoenix, Arizona. We want to, you know, get out there, and uh, we want to win it. Yeah. Underrated person in this, in this group, I mean, when you got a class with – three or four top ten guys. Mm-hmm. You, you're a McDonald's All-American. It's hard to say underrated, but do you mm-hmm. feel that way sometimes? I mean, it's great to be here, but I think, uh, I think I'm think i always, you know, looking for more. And uh, I've always been one of those guys that was under the radar and I kind of blew up last uh, last year, really. So I think I'm, I'm kind of growing to more people and people are seeing me play and they're like, wow, this kid can really play. I think by the, by the time it's all said and done, people are really, uh, they kind of regret ranking me as low. But rankings, uh, I'm not really too concerned with them. Uh, I'm just trying to go out there and win games and the honor to go to Kentucky, you know, be here and just enjoy the process. Watching you practice, you, you do a lot of things that a lot of 6'11 guys don't do. Yeah. Um, how do you, I guess, how do you describe your game? Is there anybody that you think you play like? Um, I'm not sure, like, one individual or person that I play like. I mean, people tell me a lot of times, you know, people like Trey Lyles and, you know, guys like that and people like Scott. But I think I try to uh, I try to combine people's games. So I don't want to be, like, one person individually. You don't want to fit a certain mold. You want to, you know, take that person, you know, add more to it and add your own spin on it. So uh, I think that's my biggest thing. You know, I watch a lot of people, different people play. And you know, guys, from, people from Marcus can be the Trey Lyles. You know, you want to take little bits of each piece of each person's game, you know, add it to your own. I will have a-